anyone that makes videos should always ask themselves before they put them on, is this like something that uh, is important enough to actually throw out there in the world? And this video, I believe, is very important. <clears throat> I have uh, a, a number of people, I'm going to first say that there's 110 people, or 110 countries represented in my viewership. So I can go through um, the geographical areas uh, of, of the people watching these, and it, it covers the world, which I think is so great. 110 countries represented, so hello out there in the whole world. I have uh, a Facebook page that started the Twitter, but the point is that I get a lot of people um, from around the world that want to learn how to, how to make bows, and in some areas of the world, it's difficult to locate bow wood, especially if you aren't really familiar um, with building bows. You know, where do you start? Where do you get wood? Um, luckily for me in um, North America, and more specifically in northern Michigan, just like 45 minutes south of the Mackinac Bridge, I have access to a tremendous number of bow woods. And also because of primitive bow industry um, is it, so large in North America, the U.S., that shipping is easy, locating staves is easy. We don't have the issues that somebody might have in your hometown. So I've been chatting with a fellow, and I give him credit, he's in Algeria, doesn't speak English, but we're able to communicate via um, translators, you know, the miracle of the Internet. And he's having a hard time locating bowwood. And I can imagine, you know, in some spots, um, there's even been discussions in Australia, you know, what are good bowwoods. Um, but when you get into areas of the Middle East, never been there. But I can imagine that finding a bowwood would be more difficult. You can't go to a primitive archery site, say in Algeria, and um, just order an Osage save. It doesn't work. And so what I am asking is uh, like a, an international uh, set of comments in, on this video in your native language, in your native language, um, where you can access different kind of bullets. Um, for example, Algeria. There has to be somebody in, in that country that is a bow maker. And so you know, um, because shopping for wood or locating wood or cutting wood, you know w what woods are, are regionally good for bow making. Or you know hardwood dealers, lumber dealers, um, importers, where you can access wood in what form. And so I'm, I'm asking, you know, again, is if you are in Malaysia or the Philippines or... Um, in Algeria or Kuwait or Australia or anywhere in your native language um, to help your your fellow countrymen and women do your best to explain um, sources of bow wood in your neck of the woods I think that would be a great help to a lot of people um, I've again spoken to people in other countries other regions of the world and did my best to like uh, tree species in in this country and then go through and if I'm not familiar with them um, research those tree species and go to the wood database and try to figure out the physical properties of the woods um, to, to analyze it but we can probably shortcut this with your help and I'm looking forward to it I you know, some people are reluctant to, like, type out comments um, on YouTube, the Internet, because, you know, your anonymity disappears and, and people know who you are. Um, but as people involved in making primitive bows, there's this unspoken and spoken truth that it's, it, it's our responsibility to pass on this knowledge so the chain isn't broken. So... The craft doesn't die, it flourishes, um, we gain new information, and, uh, and so let's help each other on this video.
I don't know, maybe I'll just entitle it, um, Bo Woods in Other Countries or something like that. We'll see. Um, please share it amongst the bow making community so we can have like a spot where people can access um, available bow woods in your area of the world. I um, think that'll be good. And feeling better, playing outside. Appreciate all your kind comments. I don't know why, but I just love this bow. You know, in the past I've hammered on round bellies and stuff like this. This is like a, a bow that, like I'd say, wouldn't be very efficient, but it just speaks to me as far as what a primitive bow is. It's a simple D-bow, um, white ash, round belly, sinew bowstring. This was going to be on my Stalmore bow, but that kind of fell through because the scotch pine in our area of the world is kind of crappy. and expecting to see the video by Ulf <laughs> because he's Scandinavian and has made bows out of scotch pine. We're all looking forward to that. If he um, puts it out, I'll, I'll share it on, on my channel. But it was just a good match for this very primitive bow style. Sinew bolstering. I love it. Dogwood shaft. This thing is 25 years old. And you know the question is, I haven't straightened it. It's got a little bow to it, but I can certainly straighten it, those grooves, they used to call them lightning grooves or, or uh, blood grooves, but the thing is when you heat, harden an arrow shaft that has these grooves, they act like spines and they keep them straight longer, so even though you can see this has a bow to it, it's been sitting in my quiver for <laughs> 15 years, that would easily come out. Uh, the turkey feathers have seen their better days, they have bulbous tips, obsidian arrowheads, or in the city in Arrowhead. I just love it. This is great. This makes me happy. Anyway, again, in your native language, in your part of the world, how you can access bowwood and tree species if you're not going to go the board route, which work in your area. Um, my friend in Algeria, I'm assuming, I've never been there, but it would be a perfect place. He's already gathered tendons from cows, so he's got them all dried perfect area of the world to go into the sinew bow backing world. And I have to give a shout out to Primitive Leo because my friend in Algeria isn't able to understand English. He has to use a translator, but Primitive Leo did such a fine job showing how to sinew back bows um, using Knox gelatin, which should be available in various parts of the world. Um, that You don't even need to listen to Prim Leo's um, video to understand how to send you back. He did such a good job on that. Uh, I'll end it here. Play outside a little bit. Get to work on finishing up my commission bows. You know, this illness has put me back a couple of weeks, but people are great. They're patient, and I appreciate that. Um, thank you, and have a great day.